Hey, what's up? This is the NLE Ninja with Rampant Design Tools. In this edition of Running Rampant, I will show you how to use Studio Light Impacts. Studio Light Impacts are a collection of 350 QuickTime clips of aggressive light elements that you could use to add that extra punch to your videos. Available in 2K, 4K, and 5K via immediate download or USB 3.0 drive, these clips can reduce the time and effort you put into giving your videos that extra piece of flair. Since these are drag and drop effects, they work in all popular editing and compositing softwares such as Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut Pro, Motion, Avid Media Composer, and more. Today, I'll show you two examples of how to get creative with light impacts. For these examples, I'll be using Adobe Premiere Pro. For my first example, I will show you how to combine light impact clips with adjustment layers and motion effects to create light impact chaos. For my second example, I will break down how to create a frame twitch effect as well as a panel push effect with light impact in Premiere Pro, similar to how it's done in the promo for light impacts. Without further ado, let's run rampant. This is a fun effect to use when you really want to add pulsating and distorted movement to your clips, which could be used for a promo or a music video. It combines light impact clips, the transform and basic 3D filter, as well as Red Giant Universe's simple RGB separation filter. Here's what we're going to be creating today. In my timeline, I have a clip of a woman breakdancing. Let's create a new adjustment layer by going to the New Item button. And let's select Adjustment Layer. Things seem to be in order. Let's hit OK. Let's place our adjustment layer on the track above our clip. I'm going to trim the duration of the adjustment layer to somewhere between 23 to 26 frames. Next, I'll select my adjustment layer and apply the transform filter. In the effects control panel, let's set the scale to uniform scale. I'll set a keyframe for scale at the beginning of the layer with a value of 100. Move your playhead two frames forward and change the value to 125. Move another two frames and go back to 100. From this point forward, I'm going to move every two frames and set a keyframe for scale until I get to the very end of the layer. I will alter between 100 and values like 130, 135, 140, 145, and 150. Once you have set keyframes in the scale, highlight all of them and right click. Set the keyframes to hold. Next, let's add the basic 3D filter. With the basic 3D filter applied to the layer, set a keyframe for swivel with a value of zero. Following the path of the keyframes you set for the transform filter, alternate between 180 and 0.
Once you've set all your keyframes, highlight them and right click to change them into hold keyframes. Now, let's add the simple RGB separation filter. As I said previously, this is a Red Giant Universe plugin you can get for signing up for a free or premium membership. With the RGB filter applied, let's change the radius to 45. With your playhead at the beginning of the layer, set a keyframe with a value of 0 on the angle parameter. Move to the end of the layer and change the value to 360. We have the base of our effect. Let's add some light impact clips to finish it off. I'm going to be using light impact clips 061 and 064 for this. Any of the light impact clips can work with this effect, so feel free to adjust the taste. Let's we'll select Light Impact Clip 061. In the Effects Control Panel, I'm going to twirl down the Motion and Opacity parameters. I'll set the Blend Mode to Add and change the Scale to 62. I'm going to select Clip 064. I'm going to change the Blend Mode to Add and change the Scale from 100 to 74. For this clip, let's go to our effects browser and type in color balance. Let's select the color balance HLS effect. We're going to use this effect to change the color of our impact clip, so change the hue to taste. If I move my playhead over these clips, I can see a glimpse of what is happening. The best part about this effect is that I can drag multiple instances by option dragging across the timeline. So let's do that right now. I'll add some music and then render this so you can see what the final result looks like. So I'll be back with you in just a second. While it's gone, I adjusted the opacity on my clip on 061 from 100 to 85. Now, like I said before, you can adjust the opacity, scale, and size of any of these clips since these are 4K to meet your needs. So if you follow the steps that I did, you should have something that looks like this. This is a nice effect you could try out on your next promo, music video, or other project. It's also an effect that can be taken further by using different motion effects and filters. Let me break down how I created a frame twitch and panel push effect with light impacts. I created the frame twitch effect for this clip by using Premiere Pro's crop and offset filters. I applied an adjustment layer over my clip for about two seconds. In the first instance, I cropped the right of the frame 1% so that my clip would have a black border when offset. Next, I used the offset filter on the clip by alternating the shift to center values. I would start at its default value and move every 5 frames and change the value to shift to the left.
I change between different values until the end of the adjustment layer. I then added different light impact clips on top by using the screen and add blend modes along with their scales changed. This is what the first instance looks like. I have other instances where I offset the clip to the right as well as up and down. By changing the crop value to reflect my direction and offsetting the clip every 5 frames, along with light impact clips, I got these looks. I created the panel push effect by duplicating my clip twice. Then, I applied Creative Impatience Simple Mask Filter to each of them. I shifted the position of the mask so that I could push different parts of the clip. I added the Transform Filter and set keyframes for the scale parameter, which lasts 15 frames apiece. I would start at 100, then increase it to about 120 or higher, and then go back to 100 so the push was quick. I made sure to offset the animations of the duplicates so one would happen after the other. I added some light impact clips with modified parameters over the animations, and I was able to get this look. These are also nice effects that can work in any project you're doing, so give them a try. As you can see from these examples, Studio Light Impacts are that punch of light that can change a normal effect into an awesome effect. You can learn more about this product and other products by visiting the Rampant Design Tools website here. You can also keep up with Rampant Design Tools by following them on Twitter at Rampant Design. Feel free to like their Facebook at facebook.com slash rampantmedia. I'm the NLE Ninja with NLE Ninja Effects, asking you to stay creative and run rampant. Thanks for watching.